So in this video, I'm going to configure Dual Boot with Windows 11 and Linux Mint. So this is the Linux Mint website. I'm going to click on download. So I'm going to download the Cinnamon Edition. I'll click download. So these are the download mirrors. I'm going to choose this one from the USA. And it's downloading. So it's about 2.9 gigabytes in size. So to create the bootable USB drive, I'm also going to download Rufus. So this is the Rufus website. And I'm going to download the Rufus exe file. So the ISO file was downloaded. So this is the Rufus exe file. I'm going to open the Rufus exe file. So the size of the USB drive is 16 gig. I'm going to click select. And I'm going to select the Linux Mint ISO file. I'm going to leave everything as is. I'll click start. Click OK. Click OK. So it's creating the bootable USB drive with Linux Mint. So the bootable USB drive was created with Linux Mint. So this is the Windows 11 computer that I'm going to dual boot Linux Mint with. So this is a laptop. So I'll check the size of the hard drive. So the size of the hard drive is 500 gigs. So this is the used space and this is the free space. So I'm going to take the bootable USB drive and boot up this Windows 11 laptop. So I'm going to double click on the USB drive to boot up from. So the first option is start Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. I'm going to hit enter. So the Linux Mint was loaded and you can do a test here to see if you like the Linux Mint. You can click on the start menu and you can browse all the applications. You can also open the web browser Firefox. So on the lower right side, there's also the printer icon where you can connect to a printer. So it's already detecting the printers in the network. There's Bluetooth. If you need to connect wirelessly, you can do that here. There's a speaker icon. There's a battery icon and also the clock. Okay, so I'm going to click on the installer. Okay, so this is the welcome page. So here you can choose your language. I'm going to leave it as English. Click continue. So this is the keyboard layout and you can choose your keyboard layout language here. Also, you can type here to test your keyboard and detect keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as default. Click continue. So if you want to install multimedia codecs, you can do that. You can select it here. Install multimedia codec. And this is required if you want to place some video formats and to properly render some websites. I'm going to leave it unchecked, but you can check that. I'll click continue. So this is the installation type, and this is very important, this page. So it detects already this computer currently has Windows Boot Manager on it. What would you like to do? And there's the first option, install Linux Mint alongside Windows Boot Manager. The second option is erase this and install Linux Mint. So you don't want to select that. That's just going to wipe out the hard drive. So this is something else. And you can select this if you would like to create your own partition size. You can choose multiple partitions for Linux Mint. So I'm going to select the first option. I want to install Linux Mint alongside Windows Windows Boot Manager. I'll click continue. So on this page, this is the install Linux Mint alongside Windows Boot Manager. So here you have to select the drive. Now I only have one hard drive in this laptop computer. If you have more than one hard drive in your computer, you just have to click the drop down tab here and it will show. So now you have to allocate the drive space by dragging the divider below. So this is Windows here and this is the Linux Mint. 
you just have to place the cursor here and you can just drag it either to the left or the right. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'll leave Windows uh, 300 at 6 gigabytes and Linux Mint at 200 gigabytes. So I'm going to click on install now. So here it says write previous changes to this and continue and it cannot undo this operation. I'm going to click continue. And here it says write the changes to disk. So it says here yeah, if you continue the changes listed below will be written to the disk. Otherwise you will be able to make further changes manually. So I'm going to leave it as is. Click continue. So here it wants to know your location. So it already detected that I'm in New York. And it's here by default. To change that all you have to do is just type in the name of the city here. And also you can drag this red dot. I'm going to click continue. Now you want to type a name, a computer name, a username, a password, and confirm password. So in the name section, I'm going to type John. So your computer name, you can change this. I'm going to type Lenovo. Username, I'll leave it as John. I'll type a password. Now there are three options here. You can select the first option, login automatically. I don't want to do that. The second option is require my password to log in. I want to make sure that is selected. I want to log in with a username and password. The third option here is encrypt my own folder. So if you want to encrypt your own folder, you can select this checkbox. And this will encrypt your home folder. I'm going to leave it on check. Click continue. So now it's installing. So it says installation complete. You can continue testing Linux Mint or you can click restart now. So if you want to continue testing, you just have to click on this button, continue testing. I'm just going to restart now. I'll remove the USB drive. So I'm booting up the laptop. And you can see there's Linux Mint and there's Windows Boot Manager. So I just have to choose whichever one I would like to boot up. So I'm going to choose Windows Boot Manager and I'm going to boot into Windows 11. I just have to select Windows Boot Manager and hit enter and it's booting into Windows 11. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to open File Explorer, click on this PC. So this is the C drive. This is how much free space it has. So I'm going to restart the computer. And I'm going to boot into Linux Mint. So here, Linux Mint is the first option and I have Windows Boot Manager. So when the computer is booted up and if I don't make any selections, it would automatically boot into Linux Mint. So I'm going to log in. So in this video, I configured dual boot with Windows 11 and Linux Mint. So I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing.